Hey everybody, this would be my seventh video blog. Um, which means I've been doing this for exactly a week now, which is pretty cool. Um, I have some questions to answer today. Um, the first one is from uh, one of my friends named Tyler. Um, he asks uh, if I have to infuse every day um, or if you know how that affects my filmmaking. Um, as far as it affecting my filmmaking, um, I do have to pay quite a bit for you know when I do stunts or whatnot. Uh, whenever I do stunts, especially you know physical, uh, major physical uh, stunts, I normally get bleeds from it. So uh, you know, growing up, I never ever let my hemophilia my hemophilia stopped me from doing anything um, life is life is big and just because you have something or you know if just because somebody thinks that you can't do something gives you even more motivation to do it um, I don't let anything stop me from doing what I want to do um, I mean you only live life once and I would never let something like what I have slow me down from doing anything. Um, so I don't let this stuff stop me. Uh, of course, like I said, you know, after I do it, I do suffer uh, for the next, you know, three or four days with a bleed uh, from doing the stunt. But you know, you got to do what you got to do. So no, I don't. I don't ever let it stop me from doing anything. Um, as far as, um, I think I had another question asking if I had to do it every day. Uh, to answer that is no, I don't have to do it every day, only when I have a bleed. Um, and like I've said in other videos, it depends on what I do. Um, sometimes I can go, you know, a week to, you know, uh, two weeks without infusing. Sometimes it's worse, and I'm on prophylactic infusion, which is the every 12 hours. Um, so, yeah, pretty much that's how that all works. Um, let's see. There is something that I do want to talk about, and it really pissed me off. If you go into search and search hemophilia, it's uh, H-E-M-O-P-H-I-L-I-A. There's uh, about 14 videos that will come up. If you go down, I think on the second video, it's just titled Hemophilia. Watch that. Um, it kind of irritated me. Um, the video is supposedly a bio project. And it's about a kid um, that has hemophilia. And there is some pretty good, you know, facts in there. The truth, true facts, and everything. But the way that they betray it is really bad. Um, the beginning of the video, you know, the the kid has to the kid, you know, um, puts on a helmet, uh, puts on pads. Um, at the beginning, he says, "Okay, I'll show you my room," and they walk into this room that has nothing in it but a bed and pillows. Um, and uh, there's another part where he's riding a bike and he falls off the bike and he starts yelling I need my factor I need my factor and this girl runs over and gives him I guess factor or whatever and, uh, and he's like ah oh. and it really pissed me off watching this video just because that's not how a hemophilia how a hemophiliac is I mean we don't have to be like that. Um, it was it was it was really belittling. Um, it was almost like you know getting mud thrown in your face. It was it was crap. And uh, even though you know there was some good facts in there um, about you know the factor and hemophilia, just the way that they made this video really portrayed a hemophiliac to be like glass. Um, they break very easily. Um, they get 
you know, bleeds with a flick. I mean, it it was it was crap, straight up crap. So if you get time, go check that video out. Um, like I said, you know, it, it's type in hemophilia, and uh, like I think it's like the second video down. It's just titled hemophilia, and uh, underneath it it says bio project, and um, and there's another one on there. It's called Henry the Hemo. And uh, I think that's further down. I, th I believe that's the same video, just different name. Um, I left a comment on one of them. So, um, and then there's another one. It's uh, like improv something, improv improvisation, something like that. Uh, but at the beginning of that video, if you get time, check that one out too. Um, at the very beginning of the video, it's you know again pretty degrading. There's a kid on his knees and. And this other kid is like acting like he's putting glass in the other kid's mouth, and he's and um, he's like I'm a hemophiliac, blah blah blah. And uh, I thought it was crappy. So uh, yeah, I was kind of pissed off about that. Um, pretty much, my comment said for the Bio Project one that I would love to get him and some of his friends um, in a room and find out who starts bleeding first. Um, like I've said, you know, um, if I am, because I'm a hemophiliac, if I am so fragile and uh, like they portray in this video, um, I am a second degree black belt in karate. So if I am that fragile, just answer this question for me. How did I get that far in karate? I mean, I played sports, you know, when I was younger, I played hockey. Um, I played soccer, um, you know, basketball, football. I mean, I played the sports, and the way that they make everything look in the video is like people with hemophilia can't do any of that. So, not cool. Um, hope you're watching this. So, if you guys are, um, a big hello right there from yours truly. Uh, anyways, um, karma sucks. I'll come back at you. So, anyways, um, that's about it. Um, I appreciate my viewers extremely. Thank you so much for watching. Um, to name a few, Mel, Tiffany, uh, Joe, Tyler. Um, so thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate it. Um, you know, if you're new to watching these, please uh, subscribe you know, rate and uh, leave a comment. I am completely open to answering any questions that you might have. Just leave a comment with a question and I'll answer it on my next video blog. Um, I do video blogs every night. So the little orange button right up there somewhere, click on that and subscribe to my videos. I'd really appreciate it. Um, that's about it. That is my time. Um, for some reason, I find that my video blogs are getting longer and longer. Uh, so, I'm sorry. I hope I'm kind of entertaining you a little bit as I talk. Um, I'm starting to get a little bit more comfortable talking to the public like this. So, um, my last video blog, I infused myself, which I kind of wanted to do. I had a bleed last night, so I thought, well, I'll film it while I infuse just to kind of give you guys an idea of what I do or you know how I infuse so you don't have this image in your head and you're thinking that it goes another way so um, but yeah that's what I do so um, yeah anyways that's my time for the night I think I'm gonna head to bed so everybody have a good night and I will see you all tomorrow thanks so much